Hey, it's Andy, the Rock and Roll Shaman. Someone emailed me recently asking me what the heck rock and roll had to do with shamanism. Do I play loud music while I heal? <laughs> not always. Um, actually, not usually. But I wanted to answer that question because I think it's a really good question. And it's not coming from a place of ego, but it is coming from a place of trying to own an energy that I feel within me and then it has been a um, powerful force for healing. So I saw rock and roll. Um, so the first part is rock and roll is a lifestyle that um, I love. Not that I do the drinking drugs anymore. Okay, sometimes I like to drink, but <laughs> it's not um, that part of the lifestyle. But it brings with it um, an empowerment that I have found to be useful in my life. How about that? Um, so thinking outside the box, doing things that are a little naughty. And sometimes it just gives me license to um, say bad words while I'm doing readings because I'm kind of foul mouth. I kind of owned that about myself a while ago, so whatever. Um, so adding the rock and roll allows me to just get away with things that um, help me be a more effective healer. Um, the other part that I think is important is frequency and vibration that's carried in music. Tom Kenyon talks a lot about this, and I love the way that sound waves and the way that energy is carried in vibration. Through rock and roll, we have seen that soul groups are actually called together through the rhythm of certain beats. So Tool fans will often be very similar, whereas Taylor Swift fans will often be very similar. It's not just a matter of what you think you like. It's really something within your soul that is calling you to a soul group. Laura Faith, in her books, I Found All the Parts, talks a lot about this, and she and I discovered and um, explored this pretty extensively in her and I early parts of our friendship. So that kind of birthed some of this as well. Um, my love, deep love of the music that has healed me throughout my life. So I have a lot of stories of, and I think a lot of kids do, of feeling misunderstood, feeling that they didn't quite know who to turn to. And invariably it was music that helped. Yes. That's pretty powerful. That's a pretty good force. That's something that I want to be aligned with. So it's through music that I myself have felt very alive, have felt healed, and have felt um, that I was able to find parts of myself, that I was able to own parts of myself. So I love music, and I especially love rock and roll. So could I be the country shaman sure but i don't love country no offense guys but um i love rock and roll because that's what gets my heart feeling that's what gets my body moving that's the way that i feel alive is um through rock um and the final part of this is um i used to do readings for rock stars to me i thought that would be really fascinating Variably, it wasn't so fascinating because they aren't always open to hearing what a psychic might want to share. And also because they have very public lives, it's harder to get in information that feels unique or true or not public to them. Um, but when I see musicians perform live, woo, it's very cool. Um, so when I see per musicians perform live music, I'm able to pick up on things, information, parts of their story, um, sometimes where the music came from, sometimes channelings, those types of things. So that's kind of cool to me too. So this rock and roll piece um, plays out both in the lifestyle and my love of music and in my deep respect for the people who are making it because it's so much more than just something you listen to. It's not background noise. It's really profound. It's a profound expression of who we are. So well, that's why I do the rock and roll shaman thing. And that's part of where it came from. So hopefully that answers your question. I am always open to um, answering your questions, trying to let you get to know me. So if you've got other things that are going on for you, you can find me at rockandrollshaman.com. Hit me up with what's on your mind. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Bye-bye.